Hi, today we're going to talk about planning for disaster recovery in ServiceNow's business continuity management. I'm currently logged into ServiceNow as Scott Hall. Scott Hall is a business continuity disaster recovery manager at this organization. And Scott can go into the admin dashboard and see the plan status of all business continuity, DR, crisis management plans across the organization. He can also use the user dashboard to see any business continuity plans or DR plans that are currently uh, within his scope. And he can use the My Plans tab here to drill into those that he's uh, specifically accountable for. You can see that Scott has a plan called the Application Z Disaster Recovery Plan that is currently in an approved state. Let's use that plan today for our demo. Okay, so we're in the Application Z Disaster Recovery Plan. You can see that here's my fictitious company for the demo. That plan is assigned to an apartment, a department, which is the Information Technology Department. And it is for an application, Application Z, that is hosted at this particular data center. Charlie has the overall authority to approve the plan. Scott is the owner of the plan. And Janice, and in this case, this admin, have the ability to go in and modify any of the areas of the plan that currently need to be documented. The status of the plan is currently in an approved state. You can see the date and the time that the plan was last approved. This plan has to be updated, it looks like, two times a year, every 180 days. And you can see this is the due date uh, based on the last time that the plan needed to be reviewed and approved. The summary tab allows you to document what the purpose of the plan is. In this case, this application recovery plan is for application Z, and it is an important application. It is the core customer facing application for ACME. Any plan notes can be documented here by simply clicking edit notes. Any attachments, very common in disaster recovery plans to make attachments to the plan like architectural diagrams or asset information that might be in spreadsheet format. Any of those attachments can be added here. Comments can be passed back and forth between plan contributors. The employees list any plan, any employees that need to be um, notified as a result of the activation of the plan or and or these <coughs> employees might be involved in recovery efforts and assigned to recovery tasks. The use of groups is an area where you can leverage IT groups in this case that have already been established on the ITSM in the ITSM functionality within ServiceNow. These groups might be database teams, sysadmin teams, network teams. Any of those teams can be leveraged using the ServiceNow business continuity management solution and pulled into the scope of the plan and then those groups can be assigned to tasks. The applications are lists of application CIs that may or may not come directly from the CMDB. And that will help define which applications are in scope for this plan. Take note that application Z is one of those applications, but Velocity Grid, which might be a reporting application or maybe a, a middleware application that is um, part of the overall delivery of the functionality of the application Z uh, application, multiple applications can be added into the scope of one single plan. And you can see each one of those has its own separate recovery time objective um, and uh, achievable recovery time. Hardware is going to list any uh, server CIs or any hardware CIs that are available in the CMDB. Uh, those optimally, those uh, CIs would be uh, related to the application CIs in the CMDB, but this is going to give you a good picture of all the various hardware components that are re required uh, to recover this application at an alternate site. The recovery tasks are those tasks, step by step chronological tasks that need to be completed to recover the application at an alternate site. And you can see that some of those tasks might be done in parallel and you can mark those off as well. 
Also take note of the fact that each one of the tasks is assigned to individuals or teams or groups that either have already been established in ITSM, as aforementioned, or uh, through the creation of teams in the Business Continuity Management Solution and ServiceNow. Vital records in IT might be floor maps in the data center. It could be run books for recovery. It could also be, and quite often is, the location of backup tapes or backups that need to be um, part of your overall recovery effort included as part of the effort. Any vendors that are um, required to restore the application to the DR site, for example, there might be binaries or um, application uh, layer code that needs to be retrieved from those vendors to be able to restore the application into the DR environment. The location is going to allow you to document both the production and DR location of any uh, systems that would uh, need to be recovered obviously into the DR data center. Recovery workstations or any workstations that are specifically required to recover applications at an alternate site. Sometimes this is applicable from a mainframe perspective um, to use certain systems that can gain access into the mainframe. Telecommunications is uh, any telecommunications capabilities and or assets like circuits um, or wide area network or local area network circuitry that would be uh, pertinent to the recovery effort. And last is the non-standard resources. This could be anything from a, a paper, a piece of paper or a pencil or anything you can think of that <coughs> would be required to uh, have a successful recovery at an alternate site. And of course, all this rolls back to the dashboard where again, you can see the overall status of the plan and whether or not that is in an in-progress state currently submitted for approval in an approved state or has been returned by the plan owner uh, or approver back to those individuals for more clarification and more um, documentation that's required in the plan. So in closing, we've talked about three different benefits of disaster recovery planning and ServiceNow business continuity management. The first is to minimize your overall risk exposure. The second is to optimize those resources that you need for the recovery efforts. And the third is to increase the speed of overall application recovery. For more information on business continuity management, check out the solution page at servicenow.com. Thank you and have a nice day.